All right, guys, so now for the lawn tractors. So I got the John Deere D140 over there, and I pulled out the uh, MTD Husky, which even though it's got a problem, I, I would like to at least see if it'll run. And so the John Deere, obviously it hadn't ran since, well, the last time I had cut the grass up here, which was back in November. Uh, and then this one, oh man, it's, it's sat a lot longer, probably, oh man, maybe August or September. It was, I know it was late summer when this thing actually broke down on me, but technically it still does run, but it's just that it just won't drive, but I want to at least see if it'll still run. I might have to jump start it but who knows but we'll see so I guess that without further ado let's get started all right so this is a 2001 husky 46 inch cut it has a 22 horsepower Briggs and Stratton V twin engine it has a automatic transmission see right there it's actually an MTD it's branded as Husky which these are sold at Tractor Supply oh it's kind of crowded over here uh, where's the model number for this thing oh that's it right there And I did notice there is one little, another little problem. Key here is bent a little bit, so I'm gonna have to be careful when I do try and start this. So this lawn tractor is 20 years old. Believe it or not, I was actually with my grandfather uh, on the day when he bought this lawn tractor brand new. I think he might have paid around, um, I'm going to say he paid around $1,700 for this. Okay, let's see what this thing will do. I don't know if that battery is good or not, but we'll see. Okay, choke, half throttle. Let's see. Yeah, just as I figured. We got a dead man, unfortunately. Let me uh, get my little uh, jump starter and we'll jump it. Alright, no go, genius boost, GB30 to the rescue. I did charge this thing up this morning, so this should have no problem. Thinking this thing out. Okay. Unfortunately, I can't sit on it. Oh. Got to choke it. Just gotta give it a second here. But it's working.
So all I got to do is just see if I can get the transmission all fixed up, try and see what's going on with it, and this one should be good to go, but at least it runs. Okay, now for the John Deere D140. So, this has got a 48 inch deck right here. And it's got the same engine that's in the uh, Husky Lawn Tractor. 22 horsepower, Briggs & Stratton, V-Twin. Just the only, uh, only difference is that, of course, the, the fuel pump is on the opposite end. This one's on the left side, whereas on the other one's on the right. But basically, it's the same engine. And this one is hydrostatic. This lever here, push it to go forward, that to go in reverse. Okay, let me get my tripod. Where did I leave my tripod? Oh, there it is. See if this one will start up. Who knows, I might have to jump start this one too. That's good, I don't have to jump start this one. And this mower has 149 hours, so it is due for an oil change within the next hour. <laughs> yeah, that's blinking. It's kind of reminding me that the mower needs to be serviced. So I do have some oil and a filter, so I will do an oil change on it, but I won't do that until next time. So that's good. Lawn tractors are now up and running, even though technically this is the only working one. And as I had always said, just as I did say, we'll see what I can do. Get this one so it'll uh, drive. But as y'all did see, it still does run. All right. So I think that pretty much does it. So I think me and my mom and grandmother will probably head home here in a little bit because we're only up here just for the day. So I'm assuming that next month the grass up here will need to be mowed. So yeah. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video. And so thanks for watching.